Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game, the creature, Frank, uh, the wanderer, Frankenstein's creature. Headphones are recommended. What if my headphone only records in one ear, though? Will that be an issue? It will? Okay, then. Start. Uh, no. Okay, so The Wander of Frankenstein's Creature is an artistic retelling of the story of Frankenstein. And it's French! That's literally all I know about the game. Okay. Tell me more. Damn. Oh, I clicked on him to wake him up. What the hey? Alba. I see. Oh, I'm all hunched over. Like some sort of Frankenstein monster. Whoa. You're doing a weird creep. Oh, poor guy. Apparently he's been in a coma. Or has just been, you know, created. Because he's a Frankenstein. I guess we have to walk this way. Little did Hogaru know that by walking this way at the start of the game, he had selected the bad ending. And there was no way to know that that was going to happen. I might have found the edge of the world. So as I walk over the area, the painting gets filled in. And he makes ponderously pretentious observations. I'm kidding. No, he hasn't said anything questionable yet. Just made some observations. What is that? Is that a chair? No, that can't be a chair. Oh, is that like one of those newspaper racks that you hang a newspaper over? Or magazines? To make them easy to pick up and read? No, I can't walk there. Oh, hello! We're in a laboratory. I wonder where that laboratory is located. I do a quiz about this here, but I've... That's my most frequent quiz, and I've already told people the answer to it, so... Everyone knows what that's a reference to now. Is that because you can't see 99% of it? You can only feel it under your feet and have to extrapolate, ba uh, extrapolate based on that experience? Oh, hello! A drink-me potion, you say? So it turns out there's a new Terminator game coming out. You are nothing like an animal caught in a trap. There's nothing overtly sinister about this place. Ah, hmm. uh, yes. I'm a giant fan of Terminator video game franchise, from Terminator for the PC all the way through Robocop vs. Terminator, and of course, uh, Terminator Salvation, the last Terminator game, until this new one. I'm very excited about the prospect of there being a new Terminator game, because Terminator is so, like, vitally important to the history of first-person shooter design, 
to the point where I should really check who designed those early games. Because, like, for this brief period, Bethesda was at the forefront of innovative design decisions in the first-person shooter space. And now they have completely disappeared from that. And more importantly, aren't even remembered for pioneering huge steps forwards in first-person shooter design. No one even knows Bethesda did all of that and did all of that while making Terminator games. Okay, so here's a Vitruvian man and him. So this is his workspace that's separate from the lab. Gotcha. Ooh, it's snowing outside. Let's go check out the snow. Like, so for now, right? Damn. A gruesome birthplace. Nice. And people are so unwilling to acknowledge their role in it that when I told, uh... When I was explaining to someone that it was the first... That Terminator Future Shock was the first mouse-look first-person shooter, the best that they could come up with to argue was like, What about Descent? I'm like, that's a flight simulator. If flight simulators count as mouse-look shooters, then there were a hundred flight simulators before Descent Free Space. Spoiler alert, they don't. Yep. Terminator Future Shock beat Quake Out by more than a year. Doom was not a mouse look shooter. It just looks like one because it's in a 3D space. But no. Gameplay is all completely 2D. You can never go under a bridge. There, there are no bridges to go over or under. Uh, the height an enemy is at is not important. You will automatically auto-target to that height. All you have to do is pour into, uh, on the x-axis straight at him. And Terminator Future Shock was like, no, we're doing something very interesting. This place is actually very neat. I would hope so. So, Victor Frankenstein really did build a, uh, a lab that was all white, or could you just not understand colors yet? So, every time I move, everything disappears. Weird. Also, I need a better coat. And, just putting this out there, maybe a vest. And then, hopefully, like, some kind of a super weapon that is, like, both a mace and, like, some knives at the bottom of the mace. So when I have to fight gargoyles later, I will uh, be in good shape to do it. That's a reference to terrible movie I, Frankenstein. The kind of movie that's so bad, you wonder how it got made. And then you realize that's, like, 80% of movies. Okay. So am I just supposed to click on them? Apparently I'm just supposed to click on them. This is very pretty. The moment when I learned that I could control plants and make them grow at will. You know, that moment. Hans has warned me not to drink the potion, for it will cause Frankenstein to get smaller. But as we learn from uh, Gun Gun Pixies, being smaller isn't necessarily a bad thing. It would allow Frankenstein to get more time peeping at cute girls without being noticed. Although that might not be his priority. I see. Hopefully I was paying attention correctly this time. Wouldn't it be amazing this if, if this entire game was just, like, four hours of Simons? That's right, I still think of these kinds of puzzles as Simon puzzles, not just memory puzzles, which is what they are. Oh, wow. Damn. 
who drew this background? It's gorgeous. Oh. He was knocked out by the smell of flowers. And really, who can blame him? Beautiful music. Captivating visuals. You're off to a nice start, Frankenstein. Let's see. Langer! Nice! Oh, I get it. So, because he didn't understand what the world was, most of the world was white, and he's discovering it, and now he understands what the world is, I'm not, you know, stuck with the same, uh... Just... Uh, no... Oh, cool. An empty world for me to unfold. Now I have a sense of the place and I'm just finding out details. Aww. Of which I am the conductor. I mean, Frankenstein's monster was famously pretentious, so, you know. It's a deer! No deer for a month. Stop moving. Hey, buddy. Oh my god. The game let you pet a deer, and the deer has no inherent fear of Frankenstein. That is awesome. Although this music suggests that I'm going insane, which is less good. Oh, why has all the color been stripped out of the world? Berries? Oh, because I'm hungry. I get it. That's a neat way to show you the character's internal emotions. You know, rather than their external emotions, a moron. Sorry, it's very hard on myself there, but I believe I deserve that. Color returned to the world as he stopped being stressed. What a neat idea. So can I afford to chase the deer now? No. I cannot. Uh, obviously I want to explore. I just got finished resting. There might not be any place left to explore. For example, I just clicked off the screen. Which was not smart of me. Oh no! Wait, maybe I shouldn't have eaten rotting meat. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should not have eaten that rotten meat. Maybe it's time to take that nap. Yeah, let's go take that nap, folks. A hundred pool lengths an hour. That's insane. Oh. Isn't that two and a half kilometers in one hour? That's crazy. Of course there was a wider world. Don't be crazy. Oh. I hate sense of violence. No! I'm not letting you hurt my dear friend. Get it? My dear friend? See what I did there? 
That makes sense, Hans. I just adopted a deer. That's right. Frankenstein's monster adopted a deer. I feel great about the world. No more eating rotten meat, everybody. We're giving up on rotten meat. Which should not be that difficult. Rotten meat is very unappetizing. And become an advocate for protecting deer? Adam Frankenstein. Probably Paris? Feel like you would fit in nicely in Paris? Maybe get a job ringing one of those uh, bells? Hey, it's a kid with a ball! Extremely colorful ball. It's okay to be afraid. I gave you your ball back, but I'm not going to freak you out. He let me in! That was a terrible pun, Horror King. You're right. I should not have said dear friend. I've made a mockery of justice. This is not a very effective windmill. Fun fact. Frankenstein got killed in a burning windmill that one time. I, of course, mean uh, Adam Frankenstein, not Victor Frankenstein. Hopefully it's clear when I say Frankenstein I'm re we're, uh, referring to the creature rather than... He's meeting his first people and realizing that he's almost people-like. Can I kick the ball? Do you want to kick the ball to me? I cannot kick the ball. Yay! I don't... Oh, whoops! Sorry! Come on, kick it over this way. Yeah! Frankenstein? I'm guessing you're gonna wind up a starting... Uh, Striker, I want to say. What the hell is that? Oh, they're talking. I don't speak their language yet because I'm just newborn. I'm trying, kid. I'm bad at this, okay? Oh, okay, so we're not playing anymore? Uh, what did you do on Tuesday night? Or King? Okay. Related to your absurd amount of swimming. Both sides call for buildings, replace the forest. Right? No, he's learning about civilization. But is civilization really a, an improvement over the forest? Yes, in every way. You can't have a comfy bed in the forest. You can just pile up a bunch of leaves, which is never comfortable. Although, I gotta say, if you pile up like a bunch of pine needles and put leaves on top of that, it can be pretty comfortable. Well, they seem pretty pissed at me. Hey, buddy. Oh, I have to run away? Okay, that was the wrong way to run. Back towards the uh, windmill where they can set me on fire, I guess. These guys and their pitchforks. It's true. Windmills are always bedeviling people in Spanish literature. What is with that picture of the sun? Oh no! Puppy dogs! Oh, this is not a good situation for him. I'm not going to throw. Damn! He's got roar powers! Well, it's better than me throwing rocks back at them, because I might have accidentally killed a child, which is like 
something that Frankenstein historically gets into a lot of trouble for doing. Can I go hide in the windmill? I cannot. Oh, backstroke. The one I'm worst at. Ah, but that's only two kilometers. Did you do 500 kilometers of cooldowns afterwards? Hey guys, sorry. I'm trying to get out of your village. It's fine. If you hadn't sicked those dogs on me, I'd already be out of here, wouldn't I? Although I guess they think I'm going to come back at night and murder their children. Like some gorked out cave monster. I do understand their fear. I'm sure I must look a mess. Which reference? The, uh... Man of the Mancha reference? I'm not gonna throw rocks at them, game. Stop asking me to throw rocks at them. You can just take that option away. I don't care if I get stabbed to death. I'm not gonna become the kind of guy who throws rocks at people just because they're jerks. Wow, this looks really good. Yay! I escaped the village! I guess I'll find safety in the Arctic wastes. Okay, well I say safety, but obviously, you know. That's a relative term. Oh, poor Frankenstein. They did. Monster? Is it monster? Please tell me it's monster. Monster! Yeah! Aww. You should. I don't know what that was a reference to, Horror King. Ah, nice shack for me to hide in. Perfection. Somebody needs a nap. And now for the first dreams of Frankenstein's life. Oh, no dreams. He just woke up. Do I have a mirror? So I can see that I'm a monster after all. But in fact, I was... Oh, no, I'm looking through a window. All right. Well, we found a family, which is going to make this a perfect time to take a break. I have been the hidden object guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. Uh, this game is very chill, and I'll be playing more of it, not commented, but we will pop up some vids. Uh, so check out that further in the playlist. But for now, I'm going to say au revoir.